everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina Brawley. I'm an anesthesiologist, wife, mom, YouTuber. I make four to five videos every single week and would love to have you back. So please consider subscribing. Without further ado, we're gonna launch into the first handbag reveal of 2022. Now I did tell you in my previous like wish list slash like 2022 luxury goals that I am not gonna be as like heavy handed with handbags this year. I think I've got a really great collection, but I said there might be one handbag that I'd be interested in re-adding to my collection in 2022. Not long after I posted that video, it, came across my 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 path and very interesting story it was from a reseller website um consignment sort of like pre-owned luxury website that i had worked i had not ever really shopped from before except maybe one time and interestingly enough it was it was absolutely gorgeous it was um like very similar to the previous bag that i had owned which again I'll, you probably already know at this point if you followed me for any length of time um, but basically <laughs> I bought it and it got stolen like mid shipment. So I'm like, where's this bag? It never showed up. Like it never arrived. And basically I've been working with them for like 30 days to get my money back because they have to like declare it lost or stolen or whatever. And then they have to file an insurance claim with theirs and blah, 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 blah. And anyway, long story short, I got my money back. And then I was like on the hunt <laughs> and I was I was, I had my options like quite open and I will get more into this, but I wanted a very similar color, if not the same, the same size. And I wanted it to be in really good condition. The first one of these, these bags, I've actually bought three of this handbag now because technically the second one never arrived, but I did buy that one. <laughs> I just got my money back because I never got it. The first one was slightly older. I want to say it was around a 2012 and it was red, <laughs> so now you know. It was a size 35 Birkin, and I absolutely freaking love that that bag, and I really don't understand what was going on in my right mind when I sold it. Like, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I can't, I do not know what to tell you. It was a momentary lapse in judgment, but um, I told myself, when I realized that I regretted doing that, uh, I told myself that I would only buy it again if I could find the exact color I wanted and the exact size and in even better condition than before and for a reasonable price. So what I ended up doing was I went on another website, which again, we all know the story by now, I bought it and it never arrived. And so my, my money for that bag was tied up in like, you know, 30 days of processing and claims and then getting the re and like attestations and then like getting the refund back. So then by the time that I had the refund, my money back in my hands, I was like, all right, I'm only gonna look one time. And then if I don't see it out there, if I don't see my bag, my perfect bag out there, I'm going to wait another three months and I'll check back and see if anything new has popped up. Well, lo and behold, I found the exact color, size, and condition that I wanted. And I found it from a website that you guys know I, I love and shop all the time. Um, you know, it's no surprise which one it is. I'm not gonna leave you hanging, but it, everything, everything that I love um, in terms of the current moment, like what I think are a good value, especially with regards to Hermes and Chanel and Louis Vuitton, I'm going to go ahead and link in this video just as to provide some added value to you. If you are looking for a bag and you want a great deal, this, these will be my like stamp of approval. This is something I think is a great buy and you can shop those to your heart's content. And I'll leave those linked in the description box. From that website, I found this bag. Now the first bag, bag number one of this, bag red bag number one of this was previously sold to me advertised as rouge cassac which is um a very like tomatoey red color when i got it i always get my bags authenticated okay even though i trust the people that and the resellers that i do work with on a regular basis i red is a very particular thing with hermes they do a lot of different ones with a, it's like very subtle sometimes the tones and differences between them so it can be very hard to actually authenticate accurately what red it is and lo and behold it was not rouge cassac it was geranium i did let the reseller know that they had mislabeled it or whatever and they said that's fine but you you can keep it or you can send it back and i was like eh, i love it i'll keep it so i had a geranium togo leather 35 centimeter birkin and then again i like had a mini stroke and sold it i don't know what i why i did that whatever we all know i regret that decision immensely 
And then the second one that I bought was advertised as Rouge Cassac or Rouge, Rouge de Cour. I cannot remember, even though it was just a couple of months ago, um, it was advertised as something very, very similar, it was not advertised as geranium. Um, so I was very excited. Again, then I was very disappointed because it didn't come in. So lo and behold, as I was doing a search for a red 35 centimeter Birkin, this one came up again on one of my trusted reseller websites and it was an incredible deal. It was in perfect condition, way better condition than my first one was. It is a newer model and it's just, it's a better red, I gotta say. The first red that I had was geranium. This one is Rouge Cassac, truly Rouge Cassac. There is no doubt about this Birkin that it is, let me just show it to you. Ladies and gents, allow me to introduce to you another red Birkin 35 centimeter Togo leather. <laughs> this bag is 2019. Might be 2020 actually, I think it's actually 2020. It still has the stickers on one of them. I'm gonna take it off, but if you've ever had like a, an Hermes Birkin or Kelly, you kind of know the difference between one that's been well used and one that has barely been used at all. There's a certain stiffness and like rigidity to the leather, even though it's soft leather, there's a certain amount of give and like slouch that one has when it's been used quite a bit um, or it's just older. And then there's the ones that don't have that yet. This one, my first red Birkin had a lot of slouch. You could definitely tell it had been well loved and been well used, even though it was in great condition. It was just, it was just a little bit softer, smooshier. It had kind of slouched a little bit that, at that point. This one, it, it ain't like that. This one is sitting pretty just like these in the background here. They, it is like brand spanking new, like nobody's used it. I think because it's a 2020 maybe, that might be the case, but look at this beauty so this red is even better than my previous one and it's the red that i originally wanted right so i feel like it it was meant to be at long last a year later we've arrived back to where i originally was trying to go with this i didn't overpay for this bag it was basically at or below retail which is incredible so i just i'm over the moon so happy with this gorgeous bag. I already put my red purse organizer in here from, I think this is from Samorga, uh, I can't remember. I do love me some 7RP inserts, so I need to order a red one if they have a red color. Then I'll get one in 7RP, but look at her. So pretty. Love it. There's absolutely no slouch to her yet, although, I mean, I don't mind slouch, but it's really nice to know that I've gotten one in such good condition that she even still has stickers on her feet. No marks inside, smells amazing, like a freaking saddle shop. I'm over the moon. So I now have like almost every color of the rainbow. I don't have an orange, which is okay because I don't like orange, and I don't have a blue. But we got pretty, pretty much basically everything else. I feel like I need to do like a rainbow Birkin reel or something. That would be really fun. So yeah, that is my reveal of my handbag. Let me know if you want to do, if you want me to do any sort of like what's in my bags or what what can fit inside of a 35 centimeter Birkin. You know, big bags are coming back. So, you know, something to think about. I always have had in the mindset like to go the opposite of the trends when it comes to pre-love luxury because then you get a better deal on prices and then the pendulum swings back your way and you've made out like a bandit. So um, I have been, as you probably well know, collecting 35 centimeters very, very, very purposefully. I, it's been, I've been doing it with, on purpose. And that is because if you try and, and buy like a 25 centimeter or very small bag and of any brand, pre-loved, reseller, what have you, it's going to be overpriced. It's going to be above retail. And a 35 centimeter bag might be at or below retail depending on condition and year and desirable color, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, this is, I, I really lucked out with this one. I really, really did. And again, I will link some of my favorite current purchases, like current buys, current offerings from my favorite reseller website, which is where I got this one in the description box below. So make sure you check those out. And again, let me know in the comments, like what content you'd like to see either around this handbag or any of the other handbags or comparisons between Birkins and Kelly's and things like that. So just let me know what you prefer. So I would love to make some more content for you. Well, thank you so much for watching. And while you're watching this, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, 
subscribe, check and make sure you're signed in. And if you're signed in and not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I make four to five new videos every single week. Love to have you back and leave a comment because it really does help out my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.